Doom is one of the most surprising ports for Nintendo Switch but it apparently took some time to fully realize despite the console's improved development tools. In an interview with Games Radar, Panic Button General Manager Adam Creighton discussed the complexities of working with the new platform. For those not in the loop, Panic Button has been contracted by Bethesda to bring Doom to Switch. The Texas development studio has a long history with Nintendo platforms and is also actively involved to bring Rocket League to the hybrid device as well. On the positive end, Crichton was quick to note the creative tools for Switch are far better than previous generations due to its integration with Microsoft's Visual Studio. As a result, all debugging can be handled within that software as opposed to observing issues on the hardware itself. Crichton did qualify that he's seen consoles with more developer-friendly hardware at launch than the Switch, but he's also hopeful the situation will improve in the years ahead. With regard to Doom specifically, the development process was described as maybe more straightforward than it could have been, but also wicked hard when considering everything that had to be working perfectly under the hood. Although Doom for Switch has been appreciated by gamers and press, some shooter purists are frustrated that the Switch game only runs at a 30fps frame rate as opposed to the 60fps standard across PS4, Xbox One and PC. To those folks, Crichton expressed some pretty strong words. This might sound defensive, but I'm bummed some gamers focus on frame rate or resolution, and don't focus on, is it fun or does gameplay feel good? I know we're working hard to bring quality games to the hardware for which we develop. To make them enjoyable on the TV. To make them enjoyable on the go. I'm proud of my team. We're working hard, we're not cutting corners, and we're not leaving anything on the table. We're inclined to believe Crichton's words. Our hands-on experience with Doom on Switch was very positive, and, while there is a slight but noticeable lag playing the game at 30 FPS, the ability to experience it at home and on the go will make for a strong trade-off if you've yet to see what those older versions are like. That being said, a storied franchise like Doom does have a very hardcore audience and this downscale port may not cut it for the folks who seek superior gameplay fluidity. The fact that we see any third-party ports come to Switch is a positive sign for Nintendo, however, even if the creation process isn't always easy. Doom comes to Nintendo Switch November 10th. It's available now on PS4, Xbox One and PC. Will you be buying Doom on Switch? Do you prefer fun over frame counting? Tell us in the comments section.